I guess, uh, how good does it feel to be back, I guess, this fall and then for you just to be back, period? Um, it feels great. I, mean, I get to uh, play alongside Coop, Trev, and the rest of these guys, man, just to fly around. And uh, the energy in the group is just it's contagious. You know? It just feels great to be back with this team. What was the point in which you felt like, felt like it was the breaking point for the, the point where you felt like you burst into glass ceiling and like got back to like what you felt? Um, I'll probably say like sometime in this like second week in the spring, like uh, I don't know, I just felt like I got in a groove and like started like getting confident in my playbook and been able to play green. Was overcoming that ACL injury one of the harder things you've had to do in your career? Most definitely, yeah. It was, it was tough. What were some of those kind of hard days look like? Um, I mean, most of the time I was in the training room, like, all day. So, and uh, while they were at practice, we would have to, like, come out and, like, like do, like, band lifts or something like that. So, like, for me, um, just, like, watching practice, it was kind of hard for me to, you know, that I couldn't be out there playing. For you, was there someone or something that helped you break through? Because I'm sure there's the physical aspect, but also the mental aspect of getting back. Was there something that helped you get past that or kind of break through that? Uh, someone I'll say, Tim Pike and his training staff. And, uh, they were amazing. Uh, even like whenever I needed someone to talk to, like, he would like, put me in his office and like, just sit me down and just talk. You know I mean? Yeah, that was good for me. So coming off that injury, does that kind of give you more like to like, you know, I got to take advantage of every single rep now. Yeah, most definitely. Um, got a huge tip on my shoulder. I feel like I have something to prove. I guess what do you, do you have personal goals for this year? Like what, what is it that you individually want to accomplish, if anything? Well, uh, I want to win. Uh, personal goals, not really, but overall I want to win with this team. Who in that room have you just been really impressed by their growth from spring to now? That guy back there, Cooper Lance. What do you see from uh, Elias? Oh, dude's a beast, man. Uh, smart player, very quick. Like, um, he flies off the ball. Like, he, he's huge, but that boy, he can, he, he can fly. Do you and I guess the rest of the players kind of know? I think Coach Randy used, you know, all the cards are on the table this year. Do you feel that intensity and that, uh, you know, everything's on the table for this season? No, most definitely. I, I think. Uh, the guys in our room know it's a lot of pressure like this season. And, um, we have to man up and get ready for what's coming. How good is it to have him back? And what uh, does a guy like that add to your group? Man, that's awesome. Uh, Jackie, big personality, uh, cares a ton about football, wants to win, big, uh, great player. So, you know, having him back in the room, is, it's been great uh, working together with him again. Yo, I've added a lot of new guys to the D-line. How do you feel about the depth of that group this year? Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be huge having guys like Elina's back, uh, Jackie back. It's going to be great for uh, depth and size of our of our squad. How much personal pressure do you feel to leave the room or take control of every rep you get? Uh, you know, it's just this is my brothers, you know, not not too much, but I know I'm getting older now, one of the older guys in the room, so I got to take more responsibility, uh, lead the way a little more, uh, help them out where they're struggling, so a little pressure, but it's been, it's been going good. Going from a guy who you know, got reps in games to a guy who started pretty much every game, what did you learn or take away from that opportunity last season? Uh, I would say uh, just learn. Uh, you know, last year didn't go the way we wanted to. Learn from our mistakes, you know. Uh, learn that, like, losing is not acceptable. Like, we shouldn't have that in our thoughts. So just going forward, just all about winning. Common theme has been home. This camp has been a more intense day of Aranda. What does that look like? You know, I love it. I love that uh, Aranda's been around us more. He's a brilliant defensive mind. And just having him like, coach us, seeing the way he coaches, how inten intentional he is, uh, it's been great. Since uh, you said losing's not acceptable, how are you all holding each other accountable more this fall than maybe you did last year? Yeah, last year, uh, just too many things when I noticed, whether it's uh, being laid to a meeting or a workout, like that stuff doesn't fly anymore. We've been uh, holding people more accountable as a, a team, not so much like the coaches you know, internally. So just stuff like that is what makes us want to win more. What's it been like learning under Coach Noakes so far? Uh, Coach Noakes has been great. Uh, you know, we had him in the spring, which is great to 
get him, see how he's going to coach in the fall camp. But I love him. I feel like he lets us play free. Uh, it's pretty hard on us, which I think is good for us, having a lot of young guys and then some old guys. Yeah, it's going good. What does the offensive line look like and how have those battles been? Oh, those have been fun. Guys like Colton, Omar, uh, Ryan Lingale coming up. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, aggressive guys uh, care a lot. It's been good. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you.